Guys, we did it. So, we haven't cleared all hostile sites yet. There's still Moreland Weld, Dove, Dove Prairie, and Painted Spruce Woods. Also, Fox Tana Timberland. Let's go. Scout everything. It's Moreland Weld. Let's attack Moreland Weld. This chapter is called Entanglement. I'm just saying, when the job needs done and needs done quickly, some of us move in for the kill, and others stand in the corner and commune with the furniture. Talk about her. I'm not saying which way is better. I'm just saying. Hey, that furniture has some pent up rage like you wouldn't believe. Gak! Gazuntite. Yeah, I thought I saw a snake, but it was just a vine, I guess. Deep in the undergrowth of Jordrick Refinery, the elusive vine stalks its prey. It is surprised on its side, and not a lot else. Hmm, man, he's not amused. Oh no, the vines are real! Gak! Huh? Yarg! Manny, what do we do? Whatever you do, do it. He's gonna get swallowed up by the vines. Oh God, Manny Sandbag, no! Manny Sandbag, no! Salty Chris, what's going on, man? Let me interfuse with the vines. Cut it, rip it, bash it, whatever it takes. Nothing fancy, just get him out. I think she should try and interfuse with the vine. She should be a hero. Let's get this done nice and clean. Give me a second to get under its roots. Joyce navigated the tangled maze of magic in the vines, her head filled with a horrible cracking and crunching, the world constricted down to pinpricks, and then... Cease! She was through. Manny has been saved. You okay? I think so. That was pretty spectacular, Joyce, I must admit. Let's hope the Gorgons are as easily impressed. Got him. So we are playing Wilder Myth. It is a uh, really neat little RPG type game where you kind of create your own story and things kind of evolve with your choices. I don't know what stunt does, but it's doubled. Listen, Brent, you're our tank. You go ahead. We've revealed them. Throw poison. Poison! Let's see. She needs to interfuse. She can interfuse with this. The tentacles. Give him what for? Oh, the critical damage. And the poison kills, kills him. Manny. Oh God, Manny. Manny needs to take a step back. Manny, take a step back, please. God damn. I don't want Manny to I don't want Manny to die. Wow. It is time. Oh, this can hit? This can fucking hit. Two damage, Brent! 
Sand, sand that. Wait. Brent Sadbat has done it. Although Manny Sandbag is a little hurt. Brent Sadbat leveled up. Ooh, inspiration? Brent gives adjacent allies plus one bonus damage and spell damage. Now, I want him to do reactions. Gray Queen's quiet. Level two spear. Give this to Manny Sandbag. Hmm. This is weird in good ways. It's it's cool, especially it would be cool if like you played it with other people and they kind of made their own decisions. Cause we haven't even like brushed the surface of the game. There's so much in-depth stuff in the game. We haven't even gotten to it yet. Hawkstroke of Daisy Law. The Owl Pierce. Golden Truth. I'm trying to think of what, what this spear should be called. The Thunder Beam. Called the Thunder Beam. And once again, one of their characters gets stronger. And I think what I'm gonna do, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna reinforce and find a, and find an item in here. Research has been complete. A thorough delving through the mysteries of Jordan Refinery has proven rewarding. And now it's under the next challenge. Jordan finally returned to the hands of the common folk while they tend it. The site will provide resources at the end of each chapter. Hides, ingots, and spell threads. But also we had the pauldrons of chivalry. Which will go to Brent Sadbat because he looks fucking cool with them. And then the bracelets of courage. Which will go to Brent Sadbat because he'll look cool with them. And he's got massive blocking. So he'll never be hit again. Brent Sadbat's the greatest. Now we scout the next location and move forward. And now here's where we could use our legacy points. Cause certain guys can get more powerful. We're going to cancel all these, actually. The names are cool. I like the names. Everyone's looking around. And then it was simply there striding beside them. Brent, are you going to say something to it or? To the big, big old stone man. Ahem. To what do we owe the honor of such company? Rumble. Someone has visited my shrine. It has been sleeping. It has been a long time. I have slept. I go to it now. Chug. It is close. I feel the offering, but I. But something is not right. Who desecrates my shrine with thievery? Your shrine? Oh boy! Here we go. If you ask Ruffridge crew why they always seem to draw the land's troubles to them, they may disagree over the answer. Perhaps there are so many troubles that you can't help but trip over one on any given stroll. Or maybe we just we just have that kind of dumbing dumping ground aura. This shrine was built by the hill folk in the days of stone before any of you upstart saplings gathered here. And is that, is that how long it's been since you visited it? Who tended its moss and shielded it from storms in the meantime? Not you, old scuff, that's for sure. This offering was intended for the hills. 
You abandoned the shrine for ages. You forfeit any offering. It is rightfully the forest now. <laughs> what say you soft ones? Oh my god. Does it belong to the hills? Does it belong to the forest? Are we not getting involved? Or is Joyce going to attempt to take a closer look at it? That's the question of the day, isn't it? I say... I like the big rock man. He's nice. Have Joyce take a closer look. Whoa, now. This offering of yours is clearly cursed. Lucky for you, we happen to be here. We could take it off your hand, things. Hmm. Rothridge crew are nothing if not um, selfless. Flesh fool. Thinks it can deceive us. Thinks the hills and forests of old can plainly see curses that are not there. Kashar humans! Just what you think they're getting somewhere as a species. Vacate this place before they stink of this rat taints its any- Oh no! Oh no! Thanks to our new appendage, that spirit didn't do anything- Oh no! Joyce! Joyce grew a rat tail! <laughs> Joyce is a rat now. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Joyce. She tried and failed. Poor, poor Joyce. God damn it, Joyce. The Aeroborn Waterworks. Fuck, Joyce. In the deep caverns beneath Aeroborn Waterworks. Ladasha, keep up. You don't like the way I rear guard? Feel free to do it yourself. Besides, the torches are up in the front. It's hard to see where I'm. Whoa! Whoosh! Whoomph. Ow! What? Where? Wow! What is that? How long has it been down here? How much will it tick off Brent if I take it? Hmm, it's jammed in there pretty tight. That's what she said. Should Ladasha leave it be? Or should she pry it out? Guys, what should Ladasha do with this stone? I feel like she should leave it alone. I feel like something bad will happen. I don't want any more. I don't want people more crippled. I don't want people to be crippled. I feel like Latash is a good person, though. I'm going to have her leave it alone. Ah, oh, well, I shouldn't. I should probably find the others. Twinkle. Ladasha, there you are. What happened? Uh, found an old statue. Well, we found the Gorgons. Form up. Okay. Nothing happens with the statue. Okay. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's bad. Who knows? Dude, they're just right there, aren't they? Shit, I can't really do that. Okay. Damaged and poisoned. Okay. Manny? Oh, shoot. Manny Sandbag has done it. Burn this motherfucker. Burn him! <gasps> Fucking Brent Sandbag! Oh. 
No, you can't hit Brent Sadbat. You foolish fool. Nice shot. Brent, Manny, go over here. Brent, go over here. We flanked. Look at this shit. So good. Manny, get the final shot. Um, you. Interfuse with the broken pots. Create shark trap. The damage of shark trap. Look at everybody getting their special rewards. The spell shard, it creates, it gives us potency. Damage added to interfuse attacks. Oh yeah, so Joyce Boozer should have it. With her fucking rat tail. Manny says, Manny says dinner's almost ready. He decided to go with the pear thing. Venison seems a little unappetizing tonight. Huh? Ever notice how they keep glowing after they're dead? Doesn't surprise me. It's like fireflies. Huh? What, you never crushed fireflies as a kid? I did not. <laughs> Brutal way to get a little light, but that tends to go over your head before a certain age. Anyway, they fade out eventually. Scorp. Gorgon Bogmore! Not the Bogmores. Gorgon Bogmore of the Bogmore Bogmores. I feel like. Well, we we gotta we gotta go there. Um, you know what? Go to Rosa Lookout and secure it. We got enough time before before the the thing happens. Too e it was it was too easy. We're 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 powerful. A thorough delving through the mysteries of Rose Lookout proved rewarding. Hide ingots and spell threads, and the igneous necklace. Damage add to physical attacks also factored into some abilities. Give us the Manny sandbag. So he could do some extra damage. Now it's time to go to Fox Tana Timberland for the final battle of the chapter. Oh, an opportunity. The Dash and Joyce make an absurd bet. Hey, Joyce, you know, it's a festival. Why aren't you dancing? I don't know. I usually like this kind of thing. Just not feeling it tonight. Huh? Well, then just go home. Yeah. By all means, enjoy yourself. Man, they look, they look annoyed. Oh, I get it. You're itching for a dice game. Later. That was rather dull. It was luck. It was lucky. Honestly, though, do you have a secret? I've never seen someone roll that well. No secret, I get on the I get on these streaks sometimes, cards, dice, coins, but now you mention it. I've always wondered what would happen if they were just to pick a if we were just to pick a direction. A direction? Just pick a direction and go. If I'm really on a hot streak, well I bet we'll find a magic item somewhere. A magic item? Seriously? Fine to bet, and the winner gets to change the loser's name. Oh, but we can't leave now, I have to spend my winnings. Yo, Joyce is Joyce is gonna be greedy about this. Ladasha Irin and Brent Sadbat go on an adventure. While Manny just goes to scout the area.
The story continues. I see the edge of the forest. So this forest has an edge. That's nice. We've been going for weeks. Aha, someone's getting tired. Come on, it was a joke in the first place, wasn't it? Keep walking till we find a what? A magic item? What even is that? We had our little competition. Neither of us won, all right? Time to go back to our lives. All right, but can we at least check out the, that castle first? Nice. Where there's presumably a magic item? Follow me, Joyce. Ooh, do they go in the front or do they climb up to the window? I say they climb into the window. They climb through a crumbling window. You certain you certainly like to make things hard. What? Did you have to say it like that? Why did you say it like that? You know how I keep thinking about it? Whoever had to stack all these rocks up, and for what? A lot to think about. There's a pretty big gap you can see through the lower level. Other things to occupy your mind, though. Little trove collected from who knows where. Does it look magical? Not even a tiny bit. Tell you what, though. Hmm? It does look guarded. It's a machine man. It's the butler! All of its movements are measured and soft, elegant, ill-meaning. Can I poison this man? Let's see. This can do Bone Lance. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Okay, yeah. Infuse this. Create the shark trap. Shark trap! Time for Brent Sandbent! What damage? The butler is almost defeated. You got this. Infuse the bookshelf. No, never mind. Brent said that. Brent Sadbat is way too strong. Ladasha Irin is now a Bloodborne Hunter. Ladasha has 30%, it's plus 30% health. Okay. Inspiration. Yeah. Well, Big Bone Claws tweezed their last soul, I guess. Best collect our prize and go while we can. We can grab some of these materials. Right, that's what I mean. Then back the way we came. A short while later. So, looks like I won the bet. Seems you did. What do I owe you now? Something weird? I get to rename you. Oh, I thought that was a joke. Nope. On the journey back, the weather turns. There's a tea house not far. They don't make it in time and are soaked in the storm, but the tea house is dry, the fragrant teas, and later the mugs of mold whiskey are hot. Here's one more round for you, gawbag. Gawbog? Thinking about something? Just rain. Rain's a bastard. A lot of the time, havoc on houses, on travelers, drowning out crops and whatever, but there's times it comes as a kind of respite. Beyond our control, I don't know what to call it, but even with you, think back to our journey's beginning. Fortune is the spur of a moment that strikes restless hearts and sparks an adventure. Luck is the people who share it with. You've had too much. You just haven't had enough. One more then. 
Ingots in fabric. Ingots in fabric. Ingots in fabric. Ingots in fabric. Uh, 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 uh. Did she go to level three? How did she get to level three? Her retirement age is plus 10. I don't know what that means. But she's level three now. Ladash has plus two armor and plus one warding. Um, upgrade the quelling moss. Listen, everyone's everyone's going. Everyone's going. Listen, I don't want this guy here. I don't want this guy here. This is fine. Add some guys to the deck, whatever. Just don't let him get too powerful. Oh, continue. Ambushed? Who got ambushed? No, Manny! The ominous feeling Manny woke with serves him well. The birds have long been silent with distant pine branches begin to crack and groan. The earth thrums. Something's coming fast. Gorgons. Oh my god. If I'm swift, I can rush by them. Okay. Give him temp damage. Manny breaks forward, intent on destroying his enemy, or else carving away to freedom. Down slope through the dense pines, he can lose his attackers in a well scouted network of animal tracks and tunnels. He's got plus two to damage. He can potentially get through this. Listen, Manny knows what he's doing. Manny's not an idiot. Manny runs for the exit. Are they gone? I think they're gone. Manny definitely needed to run away from that one. Manny's gonna hang out. Manny, join, join with the group. Manny's gonna join up with them. He got, he got scared. Fox Tana Timberland has been revealed. It's time for the final fight at Daisy Warren. Let's go. None of us knew what had changed the beast who roamed our wilds. We knew something they lived in. We knew something lived inside them. Blue burning hate that frenzied them, that left them still. A stone sentence worse and more deadly than any venom. Today we finally find out where it came from and why it wouldn't stop. Well, Daisy Warren looks mostly intact, but we should stay. We should still stay ready. Manny, anything? Oh, you know me, just anxious. Lead on. Personally, I'm done expecting things to go smoothly. Yeah, I'm with you. They approach the town of Daisy Warren. It's completely silent. Oh no, what happened to Daisy Warren? Everybody's inspired? Doesn't look like anybody's in here. Oh no, are people made of stone? Stay in her cone of inspiration. Oh no. Still market. 
This is what will happen and how many more are there? We shouldn't be here. We need to leave There's tracks they go up to the barn door. Wait, shh, you hear that? What did whatever did this could still be inside? Garu Ambush by a bogmore a rager a row and a raccoon Oh, he's he's way down there, okay She can't really do anything right now She'll wait right here Like ah See Joyce Joyce can do this And that's all her moves. Brent? Play, play the role of the guardian. I need you up here. Yeah. Oh God, here he comes. Jesus Christ. Brent. Someone's trying to break the doors down. Okay. Interfuse. Create a devastating splinter blast. Fucking nice shot. So now it's her turn. But Dasha can't hit. She still can't hit? Wow, okay. Brent. Brent needs to be up front because he's our tank. Just wait, I guess. Sentinel. <laughs> Fucking Manny! Manny just diving at him. There's a guy right here. Head up further. There's probably somebody in this house too. Get refuse with that fire and then we'll ignite it. Okay. Oh God, the Bogmore is huge. Okay. Oh! Odd Bunny, thank you so much for the $15 donation. Holy cow, 15 bucks. Give me beard ornament colors to put in the beard. $15 donation to the Trevor Project. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What does that put us at? 400 even. 400 even, baby. Way to go, guys. 400 even. Dang. How you doing, Odd Bunny? Thank you so much. Let's see what we do. Let's see what... It, how about we, we start by first putting ornaments in the beard? This is not... This is not what I want. Give me... Blue, give me another purple. Let's go. Let's go. And then we will proceed to win this, uh, this matchup. Oh, we got a green one too. 
Yeah, nice little green one. Beautiful. Give me a couple perps. Give me another purple. And give me one more blue. Yo, thank you for the donations for charity. I appreciate it. So we got, we got. We got this man right here. I feel like Brent Sadbat's got to go in. Can she hit? She can hit from right there. Oh, she hit him! From the corrupt land! Damn! No, stay, stay right here. Oh God. Brent Sabbat's taking Gorgon damage. He took a little Gorgon damage. He's fine though. Manny, you got this. Open it up. It's a raccoon. Manny sandbags too tough. Our guys are way too tough. Now we got to go to the barn and check out the evil within. Manny's on his way. Here comes Joyce. And finally the man Brent Sadbat. Here we go. Okay. I feel like our guys should go in first. Ladasha could open the door. Bow cards, the Gorgon. Shimmering fluid, its silent slithering approach is fascinates its mind as it haunts the heart. A row? Okay. So listen, Joyce? She should wait. Oh, it's already moving. Okay. It's already moving. Okay. You, you love to see it. Okay. Splinter Salvo. Discus. Um... Just blinds enemies. Hit him with the splinter salvo. We shredded its armor. Brent said that. Poisoned. You played the Sentinel. Fuck! Manny Sandbag! Did you see Manny Sandbag just absolutely crush him? Everyone lives! Small hatchet! Two throwing axes that shred armor and deal real damage. GG. Ladash is going to get these hand axes. 
Mini Sandbag is now a Bloodhorn Warrior. Mandy gets bonus to all campaign level tasks based on age. His melee damage is going to do one more. Joyce is stronger. Tinker, once per combat as a swift action, Joyce grants three armor and two warding to herself for a nearby... to herself or, or a nearby ally for two turns. That's nice. I think she should upgrade her elementalist. We shouldn't have come here. We, what? Hey, Manny, it's all right, it's dead. I think we're hitting our peak, what do you think? The hulking carcass steams from its many wounds. Hideous convulsions course along its appendages to the extremities of its body. Then, oh, swish, swip, no, not Brent Sadman, no. Brent! The thing's tremendous tail flicks across the barn. It plucks up Brent like he's a straw doll. His weapon's falling uselessly from his hands and pulls him in. Brent, don't panic! A voice leaks from Brent's mouth. It's a wrong voice, weird and discordant, like someone fretting and plucking a fiddle. Who's never picked one up? Oh my god, it's fucking Independence Day! Still yourselves, bone stacks. This one speaks my words. I can make it die. <clears throat> you are not alike to us, weak lungs and small minds. Stacks of splintering bones, thin blood that will you. <coughs> that will so easily betray you. Why flail for your lives so noisily? Tell us what you want. We'll exchange it for Brent. You think I flail for life as you do. I am Gorgon. The master Usrix has promised us silence. The voice dissolves into a sound like rain or distant waves. Wriggling, gri wriggling grips tighten. A tentacle invades Brent's ear. Stop! Manny leaps forward, lifting a nearby pitchfork and hurling it with a thunderous force. Stop, I said! Shoo! Shoo! Squish! The tines of the fork sink into the beast's neck. Brent falls free of its tendrils. Greg! As Joyce and the Dasher run over to make certain of the Gorgon's demise, Manny supports Brent, helping him to stand. You're here, Brent. You're all right. A strange stone, stony affliction spreads from Brent's ear. Oh no, Brent! Brent? This isn't over. I saw its mind. The stone was in its claws. Brent takes the stone from Joyce's palm, turning it over from his eyes, catching slender sunbeams that slice at the barn wall. The strange polyhedral stone is slick with Gorgon's blood. Epicrist. Each face is graven with its intricate image. The word in the Gorgon's head was Epicrist. This town, Daisy Warren, these petrified people, even this monster, I don't want to discount them, but none matter particularly to the, pic the bigger picture. The Epicrist glistens, sticky and blue. The Gorgons have a master, Ulstrix, it's called. It's looking for something, some myth or secret. I think the riddle's in the stone. I think we should find out what Ulstris wants and make sure he doesn't get it. Plus 10 to retirement age for Manny Sandbag, but plus 35 to loner for Brent Sadbat? What does that mean? Brent! Why are you a loner, Brent? Don't be a loner! Based on my performance, this chapter we have earned nine years of peace. Chapter is over, guys. We got spell threads, hides, heartwoods, fabrics. The rager is gone. We've done it. During the years of peace, 
The Gorgon's mark grew and crusted over to cover one side of Brent's face. It would be a grim reminder of the encounter that day, that day in the Daisy Warren's barn. No, Brent! Brent has a big stone scar in his face. Oh, never mind. Ladasha noticed that the theater in the Daisy in the Daisy plate had fallen and disappeared during all the conflict. So she passed a summer helping to rebuild it. Talk about getting stoned, right? <laughs> Joyce finally translated the five circles of the wind, a story about monks who could send messages through the clouds. Brent went back to the place he grew up and was tempted by an old acquaintance to remain there. But in the end, the past proved an unwise, an unwise place to linger. Look at Brent in his stone face. I feel kind of bad for Brent. I don't have enough to, to get this, to get my sword to be better. Damn it. However, Manny Sandbag. Yo, he could have some link mail, man. Look at him. He looks super cool with that. Oh, he's already got a tier two spear. He can have a tier three spear. Okay. Ladasha can up her abilities. That's actually super nice. I like that. She also has like a really shitty bow. Oh shoot, she can replace her throwing axe with something like a shield. I didn't realize I could have a shield. Yo, he needs, he needs this shield right now. There we go. There we go. Craft this link mail. Look how cool he looks. She still has a spoon as a wand, I might add. Manny fell into the works of deciphering the Epicrist. If this is true, it hasn't always gone smoothly and progress has mostly dripped along. The meanings of the weird stone have remained inscrutable for years. But today, something in his research slides into place. I really hope it's not too late. And he can now guess where the enemies might be. It explains why we haven't had a few years of relative peace. Do you see what I mean? Here, imagine you're trying to raise an army. What's the first thing you, tr what's the first thing you do? Raise an army? Right, an army, out of just normal folks. I suppose I'd find the ones I trust first and be organized about it, purposeful. You want to the right people commanding. A symbol. You want a symbol to rally support, wouldn't you? Especially if your people are ancients and set in their ways. Hmm. So you're saying our Ulsrisk, our master of Gorgons, needs this thing, right? What is it? Some kind of divine spear as a symbol to help convince the other Gorgons to follow it? Yes, that's what I believe. And why does it need it to do that? Why does it need the spear? Or why does it need the support of others like it? What is Ulstrisk? Those are things I don't quite know, but the answers will haunt us, I'm sure. I was able to find other records of Epicris rubbings. That was my first clue. And Epicris is like an ancient storytelling device, a way for telling a time-honored myth, but maybe in a different order of fashion. That's what I think. And, but anyway, sorry, I'm getting swept up. I checked the story elements here against some of our older legends. You know, the tall tale, the kind kind of poem or song in some places, Queen of the Seas. No, but get to the point. Our stone tells almost the same story, almost. And according to our versions, the spear was laid to rest in a named cavern. It's one of our maps. 
So what gives us advantage, right? We know where it is. So that gives us advantage, right? It knows we know where it is. But they've got a pretty big head start, so... I don't know if this has anything to do with this, but Gorgon sightings are picking up again. Now seems like a good time for us to get started. We've all changed, remember? All the havoc those things caused, we couldn't stop them. But we're ready this time, aren't we? As long as we stand together, we're a wall no storm or season can topple. The shadows deepen. All monster groups will draw an extra monster card in every battle. Chapter freaking two.